Kia ora, I'm Lance O'Sullivan. I'm a son, a father, a husband, a GP, a doctor living and working in Kaitai, the far north of New Zealand, wanting to provide leadership on health issues. I'm a supporter of end-of-life choice. This decision was shaped by time I spent with a young patient a number of years ago who was unfortunately dying of a terminal cancer. And it was quite a, a painful death for her. And she was a young lady who wanted to control the way she exited this world. And she, uh, she wanted me to help her die. And I didn't find this out until after she had passed away. She asked her mother to ask me if I would assist her to die. Her mother didn't pass that message on to me. She said to her, her daughter, you can't ask this of Lance, it's illegal, he'll get in trouble. I could just imagine that she wanted to pass away on her terms. She wanted to set the time, the date, who was gonna be there, what was gonna happen, even what food was gonna be there most likely. I actually thought this is not right. We need to be able to en en enable people and patients to make decisions around their end of life um, journey. New Zealand has an opportunity to learn from countries around the world that have actually adopted euthanasia as a legal practice. To be able to create something that's fit for purpose for New Zealand, customise it if you like. There will be differences between what we do here in New Zealand to other countries, but the precedent's been set for us to be able to follow and, and shape for our own use. This bill, the End of Life Choice Bill, gives the opportunity for us to ensure, enshrine if you like, a quality of life for people right up until their last breath. Um, we can allow people to have the opportunity to die with complete dignity. The reality is that assisted dying will not be for everyone. There will be some people that would prefer to continue with the current way of passing from this world, palliative care and just letting nature take its course. But the, the argument here, the issue here is that the opportunity and the choice for people to have assisted dying should be available for New Zealanders. This is a decision, this is a, a discussion that isn't an easy one for myself or our country to have, but it's an important one that we should and have to have. I've been criticised for having this stand. I guess what I always fall back on is I remember this young lady whose dying wish, if you like, was to have an, uh, some assistance in the way that she passed from this world. We failed her, I failed her, and I think I prepared to take a bit of flack for the fact that that shouldn't happen. My life, my choice, I support end of life choice.